Good morning, YouTube. This is WackMed19. Apparently, the last video I did about memories of mine was received really well, so I was asked to bring you another one. And this one is one that I'm not too proud of. It, it kind of sucked when it happened, but uh, I went hunting, and I had uh, with me something called a thermocell. And a thermocell keeps the mosquitoes off of you. See, in, in Florida, this in particular hunt took place in early November, and it was like 80-something degrees, maybe the mid-70s. There's no way it got down into the 60s in this in particular hunt. And so I had my thermocell with me, and I had it, uh, I had climbed the tree. I was in a climbing stand, climbed a pine tree and I got to where I wanted to be. I was nice and quiet and everything was still. It was the perfect part of the afternoon where I was up early and, and hunting was about to get good. You know, the deer may be starting to move at any time now is archery hunting. And, uh, so I'm set up in the tree. I'm ready to go. I've got my, my hook tied on the side of the tree put my, my bow, attach my bow to it. I'm quiet. And my buddy's not too far from me. He's a couple hundred yards from me through a head. And I didn't know it, but my uncle was behind me through another head, um, which is a, a body of woods. They're on the other sides of these bodies of woods and in openings on the other sides of those. So I got a text message from my buddy. And he's like, hey, man, I got up and got quiet. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I put my foot up. And when I put my foot up, well, I'm a big guy. I kick the thermocell off the little ledge that it was sitting on on my tree stand, and it goes to the ground. Man, that really bites. Okay, well, it's early. I just got up here. Everybody's still kind of moving around. He's right there. I know he just made noise. Tell you what, I'm going to climb down. I'm going to get my get my thermocell. He's going to come back up to the top with me. I'm not going to get by mosquito get bit by mosquitoes all night. Get down, get it, get back up, get done with this thing. Okay, so I put stuff in my pocket, my knife in my pocket, and all this stuff, and I put my 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 jug, uh, my my drink back in the in the backpack. I hang it all up on the tree with the bow, and I climb down this tree at lightning speed, and I'm I'm ripping it down the tree. Pick up my thermosel, put it in my seat, fold my seat back down, and I'm climbing back up this thing as fast as I can. And the way this works is you tilt forward, you pick up, you tilt down to lock it. You push down with your elbows, and then you can pick your feet up with the same motion. The tilt forward, lift, lower the back end of it to lock it against the tree. And you climb in this manner like a worm. You inch your way up the tree. But you can do it really fast when you get good at it. And I'm good at it. And I'm like 10 feet off the ground, and I'm going to about 25 feet off the ground. And so I go to lock it at this in particular time and just go. And disappear off the back end of the tree. And I roll over and hit the ground uh, my leg got caught in the tree stand, so it flipped me like all the way back upside down, uh, a complete flip. And I landed on my back and I could feel the pain coming to me like little mongrels running through the bushes and the pain was coming on me and it was just everything hurt. And, and the immediate reaction is that you, you just take a deep breath to see if you can. And it could, which was good. I like breathing. I'm a big fan, huge fan of breathing. And I'm in there hurting. Oh, no. And so my buddy calls me. What just happened? Did a tree fall on you? No. no. <laughs> I fell out of the tree. You fell out of the tree. And I can hear him laughing 200 yards away through the bushes, through the woods. I hear him laughing at me. Man, is there anything I can do? Just stay in your tree, dude. Just you're you're good just laugh enjoy yourself i'm gonna get off the ground so i finally got off the ground i'm like my legs work my toes work i can feel everything okay how am i gonna get my tree stand down because it's still up there so i get a stick and i get the tree stand down and i climb up the tree and everything's good i go hunting i don't kill anything i don't see anything i wonder why and there's no crater in the ground or anything um it's over i go to stand up i can hardly use my legs my legs are as, this asleep feeling the muscles in my back have swollen so much that they're pushing on the nerves from my legs. And just climbing down was this huge ordeal to climb down because I really couldn't use my legs as well as I wanted to because the nerves had muscles swollen up against them. It sucked so bad. Then I have to pack up my tree stand. My buddy comes and gives me a hand climb uh, and pack my tree stand out. Well, he takes his stuff out to the road, which is a quarter mile, and comes back and gets mine. And then packs my stuff out. So he puts in a good mile on top of the walking in to just to get my stuff and his stuff in and out of the woods and, and, and helps me walk out 
of the woods because my back's all swollen and stove up and and i heard we get to the get to the truck my uncle says what are you doing over there making all that noise did you knock down a tree or something i'm like no i fell out of the tree he's like oh i was pissed at you all afternoon i thought you were just over there making noise for the fun of it no (laughs) no so be careful when you're in a tree stand it's a very dangerous thing especially when you're that high up off the ground safety is paramount i wear a, a, a harness now I should wear a harness now. You should wear a harness. You should always wear the safety harness that comes with a tree stand. Let me know uh, down below about your hunting experiences. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.